position Let it take you back and forth Another jam that's gonna make you scream for more From New York, London to Amsterdam I wanna rock your body Hello everyone, this is a Little Big Planet 2 tutorial teaching you the basics of a top down twin stick shooter. Um, so it'll be in about 3 or 4 parts, whatever, just because uh, there's quite a lot of stuff to do. But, um, so, anyway, you start off with an object, put a controller nator on it, and this will bring up this circuit board with all the controls on it. Now, each controller is an output that you can put to an input of a sensor or, or, or like one of those tweakers. And the first thing you want to put on here is an anti-gravity tweaker and then put an effect up to about 100 and then the damp the dampening and the buoyancy to about 40 and uh, this just means it won't keep on going after you stop pressing the button and stuff the next thing you want to use is remover now this gets attached to your left stick you can put the speed wherever you want and you want to put the acceleration and deceleration up to about 100 and then you attach your left and right on your left stick to the left side of the mover and you're up and down from your <coughs> sorry up and down from your left stick onto the top of the mover and this will give you the result of being able to move this bitch around now at the moment it just moves forward and backward left and right it doesn't spin around or anything you can't aim with the other stick so to do that you need to add a thing called the joystick rotator now this this is where I got confused because I was sticking the up and down into the bottom of the rotator but you have to stick it into the top the same as with the mover because if you stick things in the bottom then it just turns them on and off anyway you want to get your turning speed up to about 1900 I used there and you want your strength to be around 100 and then you go ahead and connect it the same way you did the mover and then this will give you the ability to turn your turn your object around like I'll show you right now. So now you've got pretty much the basics of, of moving around. And it'll turn it whip around as fast as you want it to really. You put it up to 900 so it's pretty fast. Which you kind of need for a shooter. And um, the next thing I'm going to add. I can't actually remember. I'm going to look at this. Okay, I'm making ammunition here. So you want to make just an object. Whatever you want to fire out of this you want to make. So I'm just making a typical square. I said I don't fire. Just to give it a kind of like a flamethrower day effect because you don't really see the object as it's moving so fast so it just kind of looks like a flamethrower it's what I'd use for mine and you want to attach a circuit board to your ammunition because you're going to have to put a lot of logic into this to get it to just get destroyed and stuff so you add a hit marker a hit detection thing so it detects when it hits stuff and then add zero gravity and a destroyer zero gravity is just so it doesn't act gravity and curve when you fire it and stuff you want your destroyer to be connected with all rigid connections just in case there's anything else you've added to your ammo that you want to destroy and the destroy effect put to explode so that when it gets hit when it hits things it blows up pretty much and you want your impact sensor to be pretty much left as it is but I just always have rigid connections put on because normally it's you want it, everything that's attached to it to be affected then with the gravity sensor you pretty much just want to leave that around 100 uh, just make sure it's at 100 and you should be fine. And you then want to capture that so it's in your bag and then delete it so it's off your, your world. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to add an emitter onto the circuit board here. So you can fire, put it at the front and fire your ammo out. Now tweaking this, you want to add your, your ammo, it's in your box, it's in your bag. Put it in front where you want to shoot from, like in front of your weapon, in front of your gun. And put the speed up to around 30. I think that's a good speed for, for bullets flying out. And um, you also want to put the timing down to maybe about 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Uh, just so they're firing one after the other. Depends how fast you want to fire. If it's got a slow firing rate, then have that a lot less. Um, maximum, uh, just shove that all the way up. As you're just kind of wanting it to get destroyed when it hits things. Now the appear effect, you want it to go to expand. Just because it looks better. Um, if you put appear... It tends to appear like maybe about a centimetre or an inch in front of where you actually placed it and it's a little bit awkward so um, expand looks better when you're firing especially at high speeds. The next thing you need to add is an OR gate 
and then this is just to let the emitter know that when you're pressing the stick it's to fire out these weapons the direction the stick's facing so um, you attach both your left your right your up and your down to the back of this or gate so it knows that whether it's left or whether it's up or down it's going to be firing out and that's you pretty much got the basics of your your shooter here I'll show you a minute in a minute with the camera but as you see shooting everywhere whichever way your your box your whatever you've got there is facing is firing out those pretty bullets you just made so now I'm going to add a camera to this just so that it follows you about at the kind of custom angle that you picked and um, if you're wanting to do a remote control um, control and error then you need to use the movie camera and I'll go over that in a future tutorial because I figured it out today when I was mucking about with the with the controllinators, I was using a remote control one and if you use this game camera it doesn't work, it just doesn't for some reason. But if you use a movie camera and there's a couple of tricks you need to do with that, it's not it doesn't just do it perfectly. Um it's a lot easier and it actually works. So um I'll show you that in a different tutorial probably in the future. But that's pretty much it. Actually with your basic shooter and it does pretty much what it says in the tin. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um there'll be more in the future showing you the enemies and how to destroy them, how to make them follow you and stuff, so I uh, look forward to them and thanks for watching. Bye.